Our brain is made up of numerous tiny little cells known as neurons, the structural and functional units of our nervous system. These neurons require a few chemicals to carry out their functions in everyday life, which are also called neurotransmitters. These neurotransmitters, also called the chemical messengers in our body, made up of amino acids, monoamines, and peptides. One of which, monoamines are synthesized by altering a single amino acid. So basically, dopamine is a monoamine neurotransmitter, that also acts as a reward center in many body functions. Dopamine is known as the feel-good hormone, it gives you a sense of pleasure. It also gives you the motivation to do something when you're feeling pleasure. Dopamine is part of your reward system. This system is designed, from an evolutionary standpoint, to reward you when you're doing the things you need to do to survive, eat, drink, compete to survive, and reproduce. As humans, our brains are hardwired to seek out behaviors that release dopamine in our reward system. When you're doing something pleasurable, your brain releases a large amount of dopamine. You feel good and you seek more of that feeling. That explains why sugar and junk food are so addictive. They cause your brain to release a lot of dopamine, making you feel like you're on top of the world and wanting to relive the experience. If you have the right balance of dopamine, you will feel happy, motivated, alert, and focused. So, what would happen if you have a low dopamine level? You might feel tired, unmotivated, and unhappy. You may also have memory loss, mood swings, and sleep problems. There could be concentration problems, and you might have a low sex drive. If you have a high dopamine level, you might feel euphoric, energized, and you might have a high sex drive. The negative effects of having high levels of dopamine include trouble sleeping, having poor impulse control, and being more aggressive. Diseases associated with low levels of dopamine are attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, Parkinson's disease and restless leg syndrome. Whereas, with high levels of dopamine there could be mania, obesity, and addiction. And diseases associated with both high and low levels of dopamine is schizophrenia. Some symptoms of schizophrenia can possibly be caused by having too much dopamine in certain areas of your brain that can cause delusions and hallucinations. Other symptoms are possibly caused by not having enough dopamine in another part of your brain that causes lack of motivation. Now, let's have a look at how we can maintain a healthy dopamine level in our body. Eat a diet rich in tyrosine-containing foods and magnesium. These are the components needed to produce dopamine. The amino acid tyrosine is. It enters your body, where it is absorbed, and travels to your brain, where it is changed into dopamine. Chicken, almonds, apples, avocados, bananas, beets, chocolate, green leafy vegetables, green tea, lima beans, oatmeal, oranges, peas, sesame and pumpkin seeds, tomatoes, turmeric, watermelon, and wheat germ are among the foods that have been shown to raise dopamine levels. Take part in activities that provide you joy or relaxation. Dopamine levels are thought to rise as a result. Exercise, mindfulness practices, yoga, massages, pet playtime, nature walks, and reading books are a few examples. The dopamine also plays a small role in the fight-or-flight syndrome. To learn more about fight-or-flight response of our body, watch the next video. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and support us, thank you.